In the city of Zunyi, there's a road that speaks volumes about the state of the Chinese economy. A multi-billion yuan expressway, one side unfinished and abandoned, a symbol of a system that's stuttering. On the other side of the hill, we find a connecting tunnel where the project has abruptly stopped. Pillars show where it was meant to continue, as do blocks of homes vacated, lives moved on to make space. <laughs> Just a small number of residents have hung on here. Shu Cheng Li is one of them. She's lived here for 40 years, but her life is now in limbo, and she has a clear idea as to why. The main reason is that there is no money. The state does not have any money left. I signed a contract. They said we would have a new apartment in three years. It will be the fifth year in September. Everywhere you look here is infrastructure unfinished. In fact, Guizhou province is one of the poorest in China, and it is also the most indebted. And the reason is the model of growth that for so long drove such remarkable numbers, huge borrowing, vast building, regardless of whether the projects were really needed. The problem now is that China is drowning in debt, and there is essentially nothing left to build. It means the country is littered with sites like this, the most visual representation of an economic model that was never sustainable. These problems aren't new, but they're biting now, as things haven't bounced back post-COVID. Consumers cutting back after months of lockdowns that shut businesses, depleted savings, and left confidence in tatters. Business is a lot worse, says this woman. It's bad now, getting worse year after year, and we're not doing well. And perhaps the most ominous threat, the Chinese housing market. Sites like this, unfinished work slowed. Developers that can't manage their debts, leaving buyers stranded and confidence flawed. This site is run by Country Garden, the latest giant to run into difficulty. Li Shangguo is one of the few workers left. He says others elsewhere are not getting paid. Nowadays, all the big projects are like this, even good projects. Workers sometimes only get their money at the end of the year, which is a good case scenario. Some of them can't get it at all. A sales representative here told us the site is proceeding as planned. And while experts say all this is unlikely to cast the economy into major meltdown or crisis, the era of miracle growth is clearly over. And it is people who will pay for the slowdown. Helen Ann Smith, Sky News in Guizhou province.